Let's draw the structure for 3-methyl-1-pentanol. This is also called 3 methyl penton one all but we'll go with this name in this video. It's the same structure. First off, we know it ends in OL. When it ends in OL, that means we've got an alcohol. So we're going to have a carbon atom attached to this OH group here. Next, we see pent. Pent, that means five. So we're going to have five carbons, and one of them is going to have an OH group on it. It's going to be the first carbon. So let's put five carbons up and put an OH group on the first one. So we'll replace this hydrogen here with an OH group. We could put that on any one of these here. I'm just putting it on this one because it fits nicely. Next, we have a methyl group. Methyl, that looks like this. A methyl group, that's CH3. So on the third carbon here, we're going to replace one of the hydrogens with a methyl group, CH3. Let's put it on the bottom here. It doesn't matter. We could put it on the top or the bottom. Either way, these bonds can rotate. So this is the structural formula for 3-methyl-1-pentanol. Let's make it a little bigger. So to recap, we knew we had an alcohol because of the OL. So we put our alcohol here on the first carbon. The pent told us we have five carbons. And then we have a methyl group, CH3, on the third carbon. This is Dr. B writing the structure for 3-methyl-1-pentanol, also called 3 methyl pentan one all Thanks for watching.